Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from ScreenBite, and what happens when you take a high quality pair of headphones, a decent microphone, and you mix it together? <sighs> you get these, the Sennheiser Game Zeros. Let's talk about it. So let me start off by saying that I'm a pretty huge Sennheiser fan in general. I just really like their sound signature. Uh, the HD558s were the very first pair of over-ear headphones I ever owned. And I still use a pair of CX302s at work every single day. So when I saw that Sennheiser had a gaming headset, I knew I had to check it out. So on a design side of things, they are mostly made of plastic, which is meh but they're lightweight, so I guess that's really good. On the right-hand side of the headset, you're gonna have the volume wheel, as well as you'll notice that this is a closed back pair of hands, so you're definitely gonna have that superior isolation. As for the part that touches your head, this is something that Sennheiser, I feel, has always done right. It's made of a very soft, leather-like material, so it's very comfortable, as well as it's very squishy, so it conforms to the head. Inside, you'll find the drivers that are angled, so it makes it so it doesn't touch your ear as well, which is nice. On the left-hand side is where all the action is. You have that pronounced boom mic that can be muted with a flip-up, and let's listen to how that mic sounds. Hey, yo mama level 420, look out in the left room. There's a guy right behind you. Dude, can you not hear me? Turn around. There's a guy right behind you. Oh shit, he's gonna get himself killed. Dude, turn around, he's right behind you. <sighs> Finishing off the physical overview, the headband is made of the same material as the ear cups and soft. It has a metal hinge where it counts and should be able to fit even the largest of heads. As for durability, this thing is super flexible. I am bending the crap out of it, as you can see here, as well as it just overall is super comfortable. In regards to clamping force, it's very light and very lightweight in general. I have no fear of it falling off my head if I have to make a quick movement, as well as it's very comfortable to wear and I could wear it for hours. The cable is removable and braided, but be careful because this is one of those cables that gets tangled very easily. It's also extremely long, about three meters, and it terminates in two ends, one for your headphones and one for the mic. Now this headset has a very high impedance of 150 ohms, so to drive it, I would recommend an external amp or sound card. I have it plugged into my shit Magni, as well as the mic being run off into a gold-plated splitter that plugs into the back of my computer. So, what's the sound quality like in these? Well, it's actually kind of an interesting story. It can definitely tell that it has the Sennheiser signature sound, which is something that I do really love. Um, but you can totally tell that these are geared more towards gaming. Uh, when I tried to listen to music with them, things got a little funky. It sounded very hollow. And I would attribute that to being the fact that the mid-tones aren't really messed with a whole lot, but the bass as well as the highs are boosted. Um, what that does is when you're in game, it's a completely different story. Um, the bass is definitely there and punchy, but very tight, which is actually surprising for my Sennheiser headsets. And the highs are very detailed and crisp, which allows you to hear the footsteps as well as those minute little sounds that you might need to hear to give you the competitive edge in a game. But I wanted to try out 7.1 surround sound and this headset does not come with that built in. So I downloaded a third party solution from Razer, the Surround Sound Pro system, uh, whatever it's called. And that's when things got a little bit interesting. With most surround sound solutions, including Razer with different headsets, it has a tendency to make it sound like you're in a bathroom. Bathroom! Bathroom! But, for some reason, with the Game Zeros, it's different. With these, it almost enhances the sound. The atmosphere definitely grows, which is something you're supposed to hear with a 7.1 surround sound system, as well as the fact that it just made it overall louder, crisper, and had an overall oomph factor to it. No bathroom sound in sight. Now, I do want to preference the fact that 7.1 surround sound is not for everyone, and I personally am not a fan either. But, with this headset, it almost makes it better. Now for the make or break of this headset, the price. Sennheiser's website has them listed at $279. That is expensive, especially for a headset. And now I will say, I got it on Amazon for 168 bucks, which is slightly more palpable, but still pretty darn expensive. 
Now, is it worth that price? That honestly is gonna be up to you. Uh, for me personally, I'm not sure. I like him. I think they sound fantastic, as well as the mic quality is the best mic I've ever heard on a headset, as well as the fact that it just overall improved my game. But is it a $168 to $279 improvement? Not really. So I would put it on you guys to maybe if you can, order it and test it out and take it back if it's not the right fit for you. But it's definitely worth giving it a shot, especially since it's from a audiophile grade company and it's making a headset for gaming. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys. So thank you once again for watching. If you liked it, make sure to show it by hitting that like button down below. It definitely helps me out. As well as if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. You can also contact me on Twitter at the same name as the channel. And if you are new to the channel and you like the content, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.